everyone, my name is Sabrina. This is our first video in English. So today we have a special guest, Sally. She is my sister. She lives in the US. I will let Sally introduce herself and uh, stay current in English. Please take it away. There are about 18 native species of stacorn fern worldwide, originating from Thailand, Indonesia, Australia, and Africa. <laughs> Used through variating breeding methods such as crossbreeding, thousands of new species have emerged. Stacorn ferns, unlike common flowers and plants, it has a like, slow growth rate and reproduction rate. They maintain large green throughout the year, so no matter which season it is, you will still see it thriving and being green. Even with identical genes, they can grow really differently. It really depends on the individual care. Additionally, their home firms are easy to care for and it's really popular in Asia, especially in Taiwan and Japan. Overall, their home firm is really popular due to how easy to take care of it and the suitability of the indoor plant. Okay, let's take a tour of our greenhouse. Yeah, let's go! Since you have two of them, do you think they are easy to take care of? Yeah, I think that's super easy to take care of. I have like two of them for over two years now, and I'm probably to say they are thriving in my office. I think it's easy because I only need to submerge them into a bucket of water for like five minutes each, and that's it. That's all the care I need to do. <laughs> yeah, and so. of course, you need to make sure there are plenty of sunlight. So my stack home firms, they get like at least five to six hours of sunlight every day. Okay, let's take a look. This one is one of the native species of stack home ferns. It's about 10 years old. Wow, it's really <laughs> big. What's the name of it? The name is P1 Day. How did you take care of it to make it grow this big? Actually, it's super easy. It's like how you take care of your plants. Like plenty of sunlight and watering? Yes. Wow, that's amazing. <laughs> Sabrina just shared a very interesting story with me. So this is actually like one of squirrels home. <laughs> like every year, there's a female squirrel will come to this place, like the inside, like yeah, inside. on top of it to breed. Like whenever she's pregnant, she comes here, use it as a nest. Now, the most popular species in Taiwan is this one. This one, the name is P. Willinki OMG. You can see it's really compact. Yeah, the size is really good. I really like it because I think nowadays a lot of people live in the cities and like in apartments, we don't have much space. And this is like perfect for like smaller space and add a lot of character in your home. It's like great decoration. And I, I really like it because it has like different color and like here you see I like, mm -hmm. kind of extend out like, with multiple, I would say like arms, how it's more vibrant. So it's like two different type of green. And are these like baby? Yes. Do you know the price in Taiwan about this baby? For how much? Yeah, how, how much is it just for like one of these? For this species, it costs uh, 1,000 US dollar for the baby. <laughs> wow. From this side, you can see it's a little bit orange color and it's like a Cora. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I know the baby is like 1,000 USD. Mm -hmm. And how much will it, can you sell it for when it's like this big? 20,000. $20,000? Yes. Wow. <laughs> so I guess it's kind of like an investment. <laughs> yeah. Okay. And how old is this one? This one is about uh, four years old. Hey, Sally, could you tell everyone why the state conference is really popular in Asia? Of course, Sabrina just told me why it is so popular nowadays in Asia. It's mainly because during COVID, everybody was sheltered in place, but they still want to do something at home and also spend time, uh, like make, make their place nicer. So stay home is just perfect because it's so pleasant to look at and it makes your space more interesting and they look just like a living art. This I hang on the wall. I, even myself, I want to have so many different varieties and just <laughs> putting my own house. Yeah, it's like collection. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Sally, is Stay Confirm popular in US? I don't think it's popular in the US because I only saw it one time in one of the Home Depot. And the other time is 
one time we had like a video call with my colleagues and I saw his background, he had like two of them hanging on the wall. And I immediately messaged him and said, is that Stockholm firm? And then he's like, yeah, it is. Yeah, I love them. Yeah, so I don't think it's that popular because I rarely see them. I will say I have two at home and a lot of people, I host house party a lot. And when they come to my house, a lot of times, they asked me like, why, why is that? That's so, that's so nice. One, one of them even asked me, can you sell me that? <laughs> yeah. Would you? Uh, no. <laughs> yeah, I even look like marketplace or the nurseries mm -hmm. around my house. They don't really have uh, stay home firms so or like options for me to purchase. But I would say, yeah, I, I think it could be because like, it's just so unique and different. I highly encourage people who want to get that indoor plants, this can be a great option. So this is our only video that's in English in our channel, but in the future we will have like one or two more. And also all of our like other videos yeah. you have, like our English subtitles. Yeah, we'll have English <laughs> subtitles. So you can also learn how to take up stack horns or watch all the other videos in English subtitles. So for people who live in the States or not in Taiwan, how can they purchase from you? Okay, if you want to buy or know the price about our steak corn first, you can message me on the Instagram. Then my Instagram is Halohana Plant. One thing to know is that uh, for international orders, the minimum order is 1000 USD. Okay. It's the end of the video. I want to use this time to thank my sister, Sally. Thank you for helping me film the video in English. Of course, you're welcome, Sabrina. I'm glad to be here to have this opportunity to introduce their home ferns because I love them. They're so pretty. <laughs> okay, guys. Thank you guys for watching. Yeah, thank you for watching. Bye. Bye. We have a next episode. See you next time. See you next time.